everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with Prada. <laughs> if you're new here, subscribe below. I'm always doing reviews on luxury skincare especially and of course whatever purchases I make between my luxury skincare routines, I will review for you also if I think it's worthy. The Prada loafers are worthy you guys. So saddle in, get yourself a, you know, a snack, a drink, Get your favorite shoes on and let's review the Prada loafers. I've had these for a couple months now. No joke. I got these in October. I got them in October and I've been wearing them ever since. So here's my shoe, right? They're awesome. I got them right in the boutique and these do have wear in them. I noticed there's like a little crease in here from breaking them in, which is totally fine. I did all gray, all gray, all gray, all gray, and then I do have like a little bit of a scuff here because I am a person who wears her shoes. Like I am not the type of person that's gonna buy a luxury product and then just like put it somewhere and never wear it because I'm too scared. Like I wear all my stuff because I mean, why would you buy something and just not enjoy it, you know what I mean? Like I really try to wear what I buy and basically make that my everyday apparel. But anyway, when it comes to luxury shoes, I do like to splurge. And it, it's specifically because they're comfortable. I want my feet comfortable. I want my feet taken care of. I want, you know, really comfortable shoes. Like if you notice, the luxury shoes that I buy, like the Legends, the Hermes Legend sandals, I mean, they're the most comfortable things I own in terms of shoes, sneaker included. And then it's like, well, when loafers, now listen, loafers are back in style, clearly. Like everybody's been wearing the loafers. The loafer trend has been out for a minute. You guys know that at first I was like, I need the monoliths. I need the monoliths. And if you don't know what the monoliths are, they're literally this, but just with a bigger, chunkier heel. And I could not find them. I could have ordered them in my size easy because they're not that hard. Sometimes you just have to wait a little bit. But they're just a very big shoe, and I just felt they were a little too trendy where these are a little more classic. So I'm just going to hold one. But I've been wearing these um, with skirts, with jeans. Um, like I've been wearing them as like a slip on. And if you notice, like they are slip ons. There's no zipper on the side, no nothing. So I literally could just slip my feet in them. Socks or no socks. I've been fine with no socks. And trust me, I'm a sock wearer. I'm not like into like wearing shoes with no socks because I think it could get gross really quick. But I haven't been with these shoes. So I mean, that's it. You could see some from wearing these shoes. I don't know if you can make this out in the camera, but the, the where it says Prada a little bit has faded on the interior. So I, I don't really like that. I'm like, all right, nothing should be, you know, going wrong. But, and then of course, here's the bottom grip. And as you can see, I've been wearing them a lot. And I mean, it still says Prada here. I've had no problems with the soles. Honestly, the soles are pretty thick. I should have these shoes for a very long time. Uh, but the number one thing I have to say about these shoes is they were like a dream to break in. No joke, you slip these right on. Like, you know how sometimes you get like blisters, like if your feet foot's coming up here, I know people will say, oh, it's because it doesn't fit well. But I mean, I don't know, you gotta watch with shoes. Some of them are just harder to break in than others. These I've had absolutely no problem with. They look like there's like a lacquer over them or they're patents, but they're not, they're brushed leather. So I like that because I love a good shine, like I love a good brushed moment, which these are, gives you a sense of, you know, fanciness, um, chicness, sleekness, but if they're patent, I feel like they're going to be stiff. So the fact that these are still leather with just a light coating over them, they really, really, really look nice. Although if you do scuff them, it's going to be noticeable in the back. I don't know if I can wash that off or not. Uh, they aren't heavy. Like I can wear these all the time. So I've just been loving wearing them day and night. Like that's all I could say. I don't, the only complaint that I have about these shoes 
is because they're black, um, it develops dust in here. Like any dirt that picks up or something like that because the way these are built, like if you can see how this comes up right here and then it goes into like a little scoop, I do get dust, but I mean, I do have to wipe these down a bit because just, I guess, because of the lacquer and the, um, the way the way they're designed, it's just dirt does show up on these easy for them being black shoes. So that's just something that I didn't like because I know you could get some loafers in white. I would I don't I wouldn't want to buy these in white because these are these are shoes that you want to wear every day. Like I want these on my feet all the time, right? Like even in the winter when it was like super super cold, you just put a pair of socks on with these and you can go. I mean they're warm. They they are just light. They're, I mean, they're not the lightest. I, th I The monoliths might be lighter than these, but these are just, I've had like zero problem with these. Like these are so freaking cool. I love them. And that's really all I have to say about the review of these. I am a true size set. They fit me to the T. They're very easy to style. They're very easy to wear. I love them. I love, of course, how would you not love the big, like, Prada icon right here. It's on secure, like it's not going anywhere. Um, and these are just like the best loafers of all time. Like I feel like when I was shopping for loafers um, at all the different boutiques, um, cause like you guys remember, I don't know if you watched my um, unboxing of these, but I literally went everywhere trying their loafers. I mean, Burberry, Chanel, Gucci, I mean, where else, I mean, where else, Dolce & Gabbana, I think I walked into, I just walked in everywhere because at this point, everybody's like pushing out some chunky loafers, but I feel like for me, and I felt like at the time, if you're gonna do a chunky loafer, you gotta do it right, and you gotta get the Pradas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely love these. Um, I have never regretted purchasing them. They fit into my luxury uh, clothing style so easy, and they're just a great shoe, especially if you want to buy a shoe that you're going to wear a lot. I mean, when I personally shop, I like to buy a shoe that I know I will be wearing a lot. So that's another thing because, of course, they, they're not, you know, the cheapest things in the world. But, of course, you get what you pay for. And for me, I'll never need a loafer again with these because, I mean, they're solid. They're sturdy, they break in really nice, the leather feels great on your feet, and it's just an all around awesome shoe. So I do think they are worth the price, and if you can get them, get, you know, there's a lot of, there's so many knockoffs now, but in my opinion, there's just nothing like the, you know, the real deal. I mean, they're even like padded with soles. Hold on a sec, like in here, in here is leather. It's not like some type of foam, like it's like a padded leather in here in the sole. So it makes them even more comfortable for me to walk in. So, I mean, they're fantastic, but that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to come on here and just kind of give you guys like a little like, yeah, like review. Like these are, these are as amazing as I, you know, as we had intended them to be. And if you want to buy these, I say go for it. And um, I think they come in, a loafer that doesn't have this much chunk, like there's, they make loafers with like that are not chunky whatsoever. I want, I pick the middle guy, and then of course you can go to Monolith. And listen, if you have the sh like the size and like you have the foot to like to wear the Monoliths where they're not gonna look like clown shoes on you, go for it. Cause I think the Monoliths are dope. But if you don't want to do that quite yet, then get these. I love you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. And if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to my channel. I love reviewing luxury items and giving you guys the best feedback I can. And I will catch you in the next video. I will try to link these below if you would like to shop them. Love you guys. Bye.